I, what's that? You left me with blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> You already know what's up, fool. It's Cam and Migs, <laughs> and we're half asleep. But today I we're gonna seriously. We were, mm -hmm. I literally woke up. We got our star. <laughs> Trenta, baby, all the way. Okay, so today we're gonna be filming a how we met video. A lot of you guys have been asking for literally seven years. We've been together seven years, seven years publicly, like on the internet, and you guys have been asking. Literally, when we go on tour, you guys have been asking in Q and A's, and so we're finally bringing it to you. I'm sorry it was like six years too late. That's literally like the number one question we get asked all the time. How did you guys? How did you guys meet? Uh, who said who loves who first? Yeah. Who the first man? Who, who took so, it up the butt first? <laughs> Sis, no, that is not tea. Okay, so we're gonna be telling this story. Um, it's funny every time we tell a story to like our friends or people in person because we have like different versions, similar but different, I um, guess. Just because, obviously, from his, his point, point of, of view, my point of view, <laughs> <laughs> from different points of views. Um, so yeah, that makes total sense. Oh but... my god, we think it like something. <laughs> I'm bringing it with you to this video. Okay, so. Let's start, but before I want to start, I want to get like serious for like 0.5 seconds and say that the beginning of this, of the way we met was actually really, really, really like sad, but like good, but like he, he plays a really special part in my life because seven years ago, I was in a really dark spot when we met. I was 18 years old. I was in college. I moved away seven hours away from my hometown to where I was going to school. And yeah, I went back home and to my hometown for Christmas. I told uh, my parents and my family like a really big secret that someone in my family took advantage of me when I was younger etc so there was like a lot of family stuff I felt like I lost my entire family so when I went back home when I went back to my college town um that's when that's the weekend that this all took place the story you're about to hear so keep that in mind I was in a really like dark state of mind and I wanted to end my own life that's why this story is like so like dear to my heart because like he literally saved my life <sighs> the set music they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not <laughs> just kidding <laughs> i can never be like but okay everything i said was true but i can never be serious it's like okay yeah. so let's mm. tell your verse dog okay oh my god i'm trying to remember seven years ago i remember i was on instagram and i posted this picture and it was during halloween and it was an egyptian outfit that i made i was like i was trying to look for one but he's not egyptian can i just say really quick why the you lying? Why you always lying? When we first met, he was like, I'm Egyptian. On his bio, he had that he was part Egyptian. So and I was like, Mexican. Oh, I'm like, oh, Mexican Egyptian? Oh, he really out here in California. Oh. Hey, no, you know what? I'm a call too because he told me he's like oh i'm italian i'm black i'm we, i'm i'm black i'm mexican and everything look, i was like, was like wait a minute because i was like oh you're egyptian and mexican oh <laughs> oh no i'm more exotic yeah so anyway <laughs> i've always uh, so i've always wanted to dress up as an egyptian so i made the outfit whatever but it was a little too revealing but that's not the point uh he kicked me i guess that's i guess i messaged him on message me i guess i guess yeah whatever he complimented my outfit and from there we just started going back and forth messaging each other but something about him as soon as i started messaging messaging him i was like it was the booty yeah yeah my yeah. ankles the elbow <laughs> you seriously cannot be serious okay 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 <laughs> so um we were just going back and forth and I, I kept telling myself, I was like, something's weird about him. Not in a, in a no, 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 no. Not in a bad way. It was just more like, <laughs> eh. it was more about, um, you got the, the tingles. But, yeah, like butterflies. I even remember when we were FaceTiming, I've, do you remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're bad. You're bad. And I was like, oh, I know. And I I and, I was, and I remember, uh -huh, and I was like, oh my god, it's like, you're bad. I was like, you're bad. But I kept saying that because I already knew in the back of my head, I'm like, he's the one. He's the one. But then I was like, I am not the one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seriously going to punch in the throat because you can't be serious. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, Business meeting. So we met up, uh, we were, 
I was actually gonna, I was working at this club. I told him that I was gonna be there and you know, it would have been nice if I got to see him. I was actually looking forward, I was like, I really wanted to meet him. Uh, we met that same night. Uh, I literally run, ran behind him. I hugged him and he turned around like, what the heck? And then- I'm from the hood, don't do that. <laughs> and then uh, from the moment that we did that, we literally started battling each other. Like we started dance battling. It was weird because it felt like I, kn I knew him for- Like a, we were besties. Yes. I was like, why am I so comfortable with him? And anybody who knows me, I'm very shy. Back then, I was very shy. I didn't open up to people, but the fact that I did that to, with him, I was like, what the f What the f I was like, that's weird. I was like, I'm normally not like that. Yeah, sure enough, we we hit it off, and uh, there's more to the story, I guess you can say. Can I talk? Can I talk? No, hold on. Oh. <laughs> so, Hello, darkness, another, my old friend. I'm gonna kick you. He introduced me to his friends as his cousin. I don't play that boyfriend. His cousin. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. like, Nope. So, instantly, I felt like, oh, Friend zone? Friend zone. Yeah. I was like, All right, so I'm not even gonna try anymore. That was, okay, so this is the first person I've ever dated. I've never even went on a date with anybody. I've never, like, I wasn't that, you could do all that you want. I got proof. No, I really never, like, I wasn't that sexual type of person, but because of what happened to me as a child, I was, like, not trying to touch anybody. And that's what I loved about him. You can roll your eyes, because we could swear up after this video. That's what I loved about him, is that, like, literally, especially in San Francisco, or just in the gay world in general, um, the first question you get asked is, like, oh, are you're really cute. Are you a top or are you a bottom? Which, if you don't know, in the, um... If in in the gay world that means are you a top like do you like to do receive take, or yeah. do you like to get so I mean do you like you're to receive or do you like to give take, yeah, yeah we're just both talking at this point I need one of us to choose who it's gonna be you were talking over I know, I'm just kidding <laughs> people always ask like oh are you a top or are you a bottom and I just didn't like that like I didn't like being like a freaking object and like I put a wall up and I was like. <laughs> No. Okay, so the first, the, like, the, the same weekend that we had met, we went over to his friend's house who lived in, like, the same apartment complex as me. Listen, you guys. We sat down listen on the couch. Listen to his story. Listen. I was we like, sat down mm. on the couch, and then um he put, like, a blanket on top of us because it was freezing cold. It's San Francisco. Hella windy. Hella crazy. And so we were sitting there, and then, like, he would just, like, you know, like, try to kiss me on the neck and stuff, and I was like, hmm. And then... At the end, he was like, like, I can tell he wanted to, like, do something. So I was like, oh, <coughs> I gotta take my iron pills. I guess I gotta go home now. <laughs> and I, and he, believed, he believed it. He was just like, oh, okay, yeah. Because you, you said that you were yeah, anemic. Yeah, I was like, I'm severely anemic, dog. Like, I gotta and take. And I was like, I don't want to keep him up. It's late. I'm pretty sure, you know, sleeping kind of. It was it like 11 I don't know. PM. I don't know anything about it. So I was like, oh, here, you know, go. Yeah, go. I was like, I'm severely anemic. I gotta take my, my iron, iron pills. pills. And so then I just was like, yo, gotta bounce. So then I just and, left. And yeah. you can tell he was hella, like, not mad, but he was like, oh. no, no, no. I wasn't mad. I was just kind of like, sad. All right. You were sad. You left me with blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the story about that. I was like, all right, well. Yeah, and even you guys, like, six or seven months into us, like, dating, like, the first time I went to his house. So he lives an hour away from San Francisco. And so I had came to his house, like, to see his house. And he was just supposed to run inside and grab something. Um, and we were going to a club that night. But then, long story short, we weren't able to go back to San Francisco. So he's like, you can stay here. But he was, like, super respectful. Like, he was like, you can stay here. But, like, you know, I can sleep on the floor if you want. Like, I can lock the door. Like, I all sleep downstairs. Because he knew, like, I was not about it. Like, he was trying to make me feel comfortable. Let's just say that night, I put a body pillow between us. And I was like, no. Seriously, like, this is not want, happening right now. I still like, wanted to smash. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes. nice thanks tonight. for the compliment, but rude. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry. The camera died, and we had to switch batteries, so we back again. Back again. Um, so he told his version of the story. I want to tell mine. Um, I It was Christmas time. I was traveling back home. Again, I, was, I went to school in San Francisco. I grew up in L.A., so I took a flight from... SF to LA mm -hmm. and during this flight I went through like a big self evaluation because I had just moved to San Francisco by myself when I was like 17 and I was going through a lot because when I was younger I was taken advantage of by a male figure in my family and then coming into a dorm environment where there's literally 
sex, drugs, alcohol, like everywhere. I was just like shell shocked. I was like not down to do any of that stuff because I was just really closed off. So anyways, I go back home and on the plane ride, I remember like reading a book about survivors of sexual assault. And I remember like telling myself, like, I want to tell my parents. So I want to tell, like, I want to speak my truth. I want to tell my story. So I went home and it was a crazy weekend. My parents found out what happened to me. Like stuff went crazy. So basically, long story short, um, I went back home now. I had to go back to SF and I was alone. I felt alone because all of my roommates were in their hometown, San Diego, like LA, etc. So I went back to my apartment and just felt hella alone. Like I was not in a good space at all. And I was like, you know what? Like I don't want to do this anymore because this is too much pressure. So anybody who survives something crazy, you know what I'm talking about. So I remember setting up my own suicide and I, you know, thought of different ways, etc. If it wasn't for meeting him, like that weekend I genuinely believed that I wouldn't be here to stop I wouldn't, cry. I wouldn't be here today because literally he's the only person who like listened to me like cared you know what I'm saying and he was like a total stranger so the fact that we connected and the fact that he was in San Francisco that weekend was such a crazy coincidence and although like nothing happened like we weren't like boyfriends immediately we were just friends and that's the thing that like anybody who knows us nowadays knows that we are like best friends we We talk like best friends a lot of times when people know me but don't know him they'll be like oh your brother is outside or oh your best friend's outside like they never assume that we're boyfriends because of the way we don't act act like boyfriends we act like best friends i just wanted to tell you guys here on youtube because i know i owe that to you guys because you guys have been seeing us grow as a relationship as a couple as people for over seven years and i just want to say thank you to everyone who supported us whether you know us in real life on the internet from our videos etc when we first started posting pictures of ourselves seven years ago when instagram barely started gay couples were not a thing especially on instagram like back then so we've gone through a lot and i'm really proud of the fact that we were able to stick through it and there's a lot of times that like you know it could have torn us apart but it didn't and yeah that's what i love about it that's what i love about it yeah it's not easy being in a uh, in long-term relationship you guys it takes a time, lot of time patience, patience communication <laughs> what the fuck? Why stop the, reading my mind <laughs> why are we the same person sister sister okay but why is this turning into dr phil i know <laughs> so without further ado yeah you know that is how we met don't touch me okay that's <laughs> let us know what you want to see um i tried pranking him Horrible. Work. It went horrible. I'm probably gonna post the video soon, but every time he tries to prank me, you guys, I'm like, I just know. I know. I'm a good pranker in real life, but jutsu, like no sabes, I can't do like, it for like. I'm a good investigator, so I can just, I can just connect the dots. Well, we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, let us know if you want to do any pranks. And also, we're gonna stay true to ourselves, so we're not gonna filter anything. We're gonna be ourselves. So get ready for that. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. You can unsubscribe. Mm, baby girl. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I think we should do like a kiss before we go. I'm pregnant. Okay, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> I'm guys- not gonna lie. I got a fart. So we gotta go because I'm hungry <laughs> and I got a fart. So, <laughs> Okay guys, bye. See you later. <laughs>